Okay, so um, just running through a quick question here. It's an ellipse question, and what you can sometimes be asked to do with an ellipse question is to draw a tangent from the ellipse. Now, there's two different types of ways this can come up. The point of contact where the tangent is going to touch the ellipse can be on the curve, such as in this question here, or it can be outside the curve. Now, the ones outside the curve I've dealt with in a different video, which I link into this description. With this particular question, the point of contact is given, point P. So we have to draw a tangent line that runs alongside that. And basically a tangent is a straight line that is in contact with a circle or a curved surface. So if you take the roll of masking tape as an example, put the pencil against it, that pencil will be tangential to the roll of masking tape. The important thing to know is that when two, a line and a circle are in contact with each other or a line and a curved surface are in contact with each other, there's only one point of contact. So the particular point of contact in this case is point P. So what we have to try and figure out is what angle would that line be going at. If in an exam you were just to kind of guess it or eye it up, you won't receive any marks. There is a method to it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find your focal points. So this is basic revision for the ellipse now to start us off. So to find the focal points, what we do is we get half our major axis and our major axis is the one that runs the longest length on the ellipse. And we take that distance of half our major, and we go to the top of our ellipse, the so top of the minor axis, and we strike an arc to the left and the right. And where it hits our central axis, our major axis, left and right are our two focal points. So I just label those as F1 and F2. So that should be pretty straightforward for everyone. Now, from both those focal points, we're going to draw a line through point P and continue it out the other side. So from F1 through point P and continue it out. From F2 through point P and continue it out. So you end up with an X shape going through point P. Now, just by looking at the drawing, I can tell that my tangent has to run in that direction. So what I'm going to do is, from the shape of the X that I've just created, I'm going to bisect the angle that is going in that direction. So if I look at my X shape, I could bisect the angle between these two lines or these two lines. And if I got a bisecting line, it would give me the direction of my tangent. So I'll just bisect, let's say, the bottom section here. So I'm going to put my compass on point P stretch it out to a reasonable distance. Remember, bisecting an angle, it can be any distance, but just a reasonable 20 millimeters or so. Strike an arc between those two lines. And then from both points of contact where it hit both lines, I draw two more arcs, and they'll intersect each other. Where they intersect each other, if I pass it through the corner of the angle I was talking about, which is point P in this case, it gives me my bisecting line. Now that bisecting line also happens to be the tangent that I'm looking for. So I'll just put it in heavy air so you can see. And that's the same method regardless of where point P is. I just randomly selected point P to be located here. If it was on the other side or the bottom of the ellipse, anywhere, the method is exactly the same. Get your two focal points, join a line through focal point one, through your point of contact, do the same for focal point two. That creates your X shape for you. Eye up the direction your tangent should be going in and bisect the angle through the X shape to give you that direction for your tangent. And that will give you your tangent to your ellipse with point P given on the point of the curve. Like I said, there's another video which I link which shows you how to draw a tangent if the point is given on the outside of the curve and you have to draw a tangent down.